Well, a good Monday morning to you. Yeah. It's Dan. I want to welcome everyone to my home in the sticks. I hope everybody's having a good start to a new week. And I hope everybody had a great weekend. But over here in East Central Mississippi, I'm here to tell you, rain. Just waiting on it to move in. Before we get started on today's video, I'm always going to say that if you are new to the channel, I want to welcome you. And if you return and just see what old Dan's got going on over her, I show enough thank you for coming back. But what I want to share with you and y'all today is Lord of mercy. I don't went back old school. Give me a second, and I'm finna show you. <laughs> Dan, what you talking about now? Well, I'm here to tell you, over the weekend, I decided I wasn't going to do any creating, didn't even break out the camera, nothing. I decided I was going to take two days off and just fiddle around the farm, get a few things done, and just basically relax. That included sucking down blue cans. But I also thought about barbecuing. Possum butt normally comes over on the weekend, dang near every weekend, and 99.9% .9 of the time, we are going to be barbecuing started thinking about how I like to barbecue and that is with charcoal. What I can tell you is here recently I got sucked in by electronics and when I say by electronics I mean I have a pellet grill, I had a few electric smokers, things that required electricity. But if you talk to some, some of the older folks that like to barbecue, they call them purists, they will tell you charcoal is the only way to barbecue and that is true uh, when I was younger 40 some odd years ago my dad bought me a Weber kettle it was just a plain old kettle that he bought at a store called Schwegman's in Louisiana if you from New Orleans you'll know what Schwegman's is it's a grocery store but they used to sell all kind of stuff but anyways he bought me a Weber kettle it was a 22 inch kettle and I think maybe he paid 40 bucks for it and back then that was a lot of money and I learned how to barbecue on that Weber kettle so what I did was uh, for about a year I waited and waited and waited because there was one Weber kettle that I wanted but I wanted to wait till it, it actually it came on sale and almost a year later it never came on sale so I went ahead and bought me one and what this is is a Weber 22 inch master touch kettle Now what makes this thing so much different than the other kettles out there, because I believe there's maybe four versions of this. There's just a plain old Weber kettle. Then there's a kettle that comes in colors, like blue and gold and all that stuff, green. There's this one, the Master Touch, and then there is a premium version of the kettle. And I didn't need the premium version, but I did want the Master Touch version of it. And I'm gonna tell you why. Dan, what is the Master Touch uh, version of this and what is all that? I don't know what the Master Touch means. I could tell you the features that it has on it, and that's what I wanted. Let me show you. Uh, on this version of the uh, Weber, it's got these little hooks where you can actually hang your stuff that you're grilling with. Uh, this is a scraper. If you have a spatula or something, you can hang it on here. Uh, it's got these cool touch handles. And it's actually got a cool touch handle on this dampener on the top of the, the grill. And the one thing that I really liked about this version of the kettle is this guy right here. And this actually is a way to hang your lid when you're cooking. Or if you want to see what's going on and you need to get in here, you could actually take that lid and rest it. The regular version of this kettle actually has a hook somewhere up in here. It might be on the other side but it actually hooks on to the edge of the kettle. Really didn't like that because if you didn't hook that thing on there the right way, it would fall off. Ask me how I know that. Another cool feature about this, besides the lid, this really drew me in. This uh, great system is actually geared up to where you could take this middle section out, such as that, and you could replace uh, that hole with a kind of like a grill grate or a wok or there's several different things uh, this is kind of like they call it the gourmet setup or something like that a gourmet system but I really like that this grill actually comes with uh, those two charcoal holders and I like this feature here you can actually open this 
this thing up. So if you need to replace your fuel, like your charcoal here, you could actually dump your charcoal in, shut it, and do the same thing on the other side, and get the finger out the way. Apologize for the light because it is getting dark out here. You could actually take this thing and set it there, and you can move that one onto the other side, and this will be your indirect way to grill. You can actually take both of them, hope y'all can see that, move it to one side of the grill, and you have, here's your heat source, and if you want to indirect cook, this will be your coolest spot on this side. So that, that works out really nice. Or, you can take those two charcoal baskets, put it in the center, and if you want to do some wings or something you don't want to burn, you put it all the way on the outside. So you got your heat source in the middle, put your food on the outside. So that really drew me in because I like the functionality of how this great system works. So I show enough went old school on a barbecue pit or grill. Again, I cooked on a Weber for many, many years. And the one thing that a person has to learn when it comes to using one of these Webers is actually the dampening systems on this uh, particular cooker. This cooker has a dampening system on the top and down here on the bottom. And another cool thing that I didn't bring up is this grilling system actually has a ash bowl. You just squeeze these two things together, drop it down, and when you go to clean out, when you go to clean your grill, all the ash is falling here. And here is the other dampener right here. And it works such as that. I ain't gonna lie, I get so excited about some of this stuff, especially the grilling stuff, I forget, I leave stuff out. But yeah, here's another really important thing, or function. Hope y'all can see this. That is your bowl clean-out system. And how that works is when you rotate this lever right here, it actually sweeps the coals out for you. That's one function, but this is also a dampener. Um, you open it up just a little bit, you get maybe a quarter. Open it up a little bit more, that's about uh, maybe halfway, three-quarter, fully open. So this is also a dampening system. The more air that you let in, the hotter the coals get. And of course, the top dampener releases, that's what releases the uh, hot air or the smoke or both. But the one thing I did notice on the bottom dampener, and there's several different uh, thoughts on the dampening system for these kettles. Which one should you open? Which one should you close? I can say that Weber suggests that you leave that bottom dampener fully open. Use this top dampener to control your temperature. Now again, there's several different thoughts, thought processes and theories on you know, how folks run their grills. Uh, I guess you just run your grill like you like to run your grill. Just and don't burn your food. But the one thing that I did notice is it's kind of hard to figure out on this grill what is open what is closed, what is a quarter open, what is half open, what's three quarter open, you can't really tell. So I was thinking maybe I make some tick marks and just transcribe it onto the bottom of the grill, see what happens. Let's do that. All right, so I just took this kettle, flipped it upside down so we could look at it a little bit better. But see how this system works? All right, so. We know all the way to the right, on my right, is going to be closed. Move it to the left just a little bit. I'm going to call it that first hole right there. We're going to call that maybe a quarter, maybe. So what I have here is a Sharpie. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to maybe put me a hash mark on here somewhere, maybe right there. That little hash mark will tell me that when I hit that, that's at about a quarter. So there's a better look. Got a quarter, half, three quarter, and an O for fully open. I think that's going to work. So one thing worth noting is um, on different styles of barbecuing, especially with charcoal, you don't have to worry about any failures. The only failure you have to worry about is yourself. Uh, overcooking it, undercooking it, burning it, and controlling those dampeners. Whereby with your pellet grills and smokers that run off electricity, you have to worry about the electricity. You into a nice cook and you have some really expensive meat on there, a couple of Boston butts, maybe a prime rib or a brisket, and you lose electricity. Uh-oh, what are you going to do? Lord of mercy. 
with charcoal you don't have to worry about that temperature starts going down you crack open those dampeners get it back hot uh, if not add some more fuel source charcoal lump whatever you're using now uh, what y'all do is hey y'all leave a comment and uh, let us know what you uh, how you like to barbecue uh, you like to use uh, traditional charcoal do you use like you like to use a, a gas grill or a gas smoker maybe a stick burner you, you like using a pellet grill drop something down in the comments and let us know uh, how you like to grill and maybe why well, all right that's what i wanted to share with you and y'all today lord of mercy old dan i went old school again i love cooking over charcoal i have that pit barrel cooker that runs off of straight up charcoal and now i have a uh, weber kettle another weber kettle i have a lot of friends that uh, thoroughly enjoy cooking on their pellet grills and they're using their electric smokers and cookers they just they love them there's nothing better myself i'm kind of traditionalist i like using charcoal but i will dabble uh, with the pellet grill every now and then. So again, hope everybody has a show enough. Good Monday, and I hope everybody stays safe this week amid this crisis that's still going on. If you like this video, go on and give it a thumbs up to help. If you haven't subscribed to the Home Sticks channel, Lord mercy. Y'all need to come on over here and give old Dan a look, because I'm always doing stuff, like cooking on charcoal again. That being said, you know it's coming, Dan Reference show enough. Always gonna say it. Don't let nobody do your shine. And I mean nobody. You show sure enough, get your shine on, get your grill on, be you. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.